Ve'ikra, Leviticus 22. And Yahuwah spoke unto Moshe, saying, Speak unto El Ahran and to his sons, that they separate themselves from the holy things of the children of Yasharael, and that they profane not at my holy name those things which they hallow unto me. I am Yahuwah. Say unto them, Whosoever he be of all your seed among your generations that goes unto the holy things, which the children of Yasharael hallow unto Yahuwah, having his uncleanness upon him, that soul shall be cut off from my presence. I am Yahuwah. What man soever of the seed of Ahran is a leper, or has a running issue, he shall not eat of the holy things until he be clean. And whoso touches anything that is unclean by the dead, or a man whose seed goes from him, or whosoever touches any creeping thing, whereby he may be made unclean, or a man of whom he may take uncleanness, whatsoever uncleanness he has. The soul which has touched any such shall be unclean until evening, and shall not eat of the holy things, unless he wash his flesh with water. And when the sun is down, he shall be clean, and shall afterward eat of the holy things, because it is his food. That which dies of itself, or is torn with beasts, he shall not eat to defile himself therewith. I am Yahuwah. They shall therefore guard at my ordinance, lest they bear sin for it, and die therefore, if they profane it. I, Yahuwah, do sanctify them. There shall no stranger eat of the holy thing, a sojourner of the priest or a hired servant shall not eat of the holy thing, but if the priest buy any soul with his money, he shall eat of it, and he that is born in his house, they shall eat of his meat. If the priest's daughter also be married unto a stranger, she may not eat of an offering of the holy things. But if the priest's daughter be a widow or divorced, and have no child, and is returned unto her father's house, as in her youth, she shall eat of her father's meat, but there shall no stranger eat thereof. And if a man eat of the holy thing unwittingly, then he shall put the fifth part thereof unto it, and shall give it unto the priest, at with the holy thing. And they shall not profane at the holy things of the children of Yasharael, at which they offer unto Yahuwah, or suffer them to bear the iniquity of trespass when they eat at their holy things. For I, Yahuwah, do sanctify them. And Yahuwah spoke unto El Moshe, saying, Speak unto El Ahran, and to his sons, and unto all the children of Yasharael, and say unto them, Whatsoever he be of the house of Yasharael, or of the strangers in Yasharael, that will offer his oblation for all his vows and for all his free will offerings, which they will offer unto Yahuwah for a burnt offering. Ye shall offer at your own will a male without blemish of the cattle, of the sheep, or of the goats. But whatsoever has a blemish 
that shall ye not offer, for it shall not be acceptable for you. And whosoever offers a sacrifice of peace offerings unto Yahuwah to accomplish his vow, or a free will offering in cattle or sheep, it shall be perfect to be accepted. There shall be no blemish therein, blind or broken or maimed or having a running sore or scurvy or scabbed. Ye shall not offer these unto Yahuwah, nor make an offering by fire of them upon the altar unto Yahuwah. Either a bullock or a lamb that has anything superfluous or lacking in his parts, that may you offer for a free will offering, but for a, a vow it shall not be accepted. Ye shall not offer unto Yahuwah that which is bruised or crushed or broken or cut. Neither shall ye make any offering thereof in your land. Neither from a stranger's hand shall ye offer at the bread of your Elohim of any of these, because their corruption is in them and blemishes be in them they shall not be accepted for you. And Yahuwah spoke unto Moshe, saying, When a bullock or a sheep or a goat is brought forth, then it shall be seven days under the dam. And from the eighth day and thenceforth it shall be accepted for an offering made by fire unto Yahuwah. And whether it be cow or ewe, ye shall not kill it and at her young both in one day. And when ye will offer a sacrifice of thanksgiving unto Yahuwah, offer it at your own will. On the same day it shall be eaten up. Ye shall leave none of it until the morrow. I am Yahuwah. Therefore shall ye guard my commandments and do them. I am Yahuwah. Neither shall ye profane at my holy name. But I will be hallowed among the children of Yasharael. I am Yahuwah, which hallow you, that brought you out of the land of Mitzrayim, to be your Elohim, I am Yahuwah.